Today I'm going to be going over setting up crates and Serato DJ. I will be using Serato DJ intro, which is the free version of Serato. It's free as long as you have a Serato DJ intro compatible controller, it will work. Okay, as you see it, when I open it up, it only opens up to the screen, the playback screen. It does not have both decks opened up because I do not have my hardware, uh, any controller or anything connected to this. But to set up crates, this is pretty much all you would need and pretty much how you would go about doing it. Because if you set up the controller, some of these features aren't accessible. So these are crates that I already have set up. So... Uh, you can see some, the way some of them are named. You can set up your names however you want to do it. Uh, whatever is convenient for you. The thing is to set up the crates in a way that is convenient and works for you. Because you're going to have to know where music is. Because I can't play a song if I had difficulty finding it. And you will find that when you are DJing, you'll be ready to play a song. And you hear something that will go right in with what you're doing. Or if someone may come up and request a song, and if you don't know where that song is, you could spend the rest of the night trying to find it, or at, at worst, not even find it. Uh, but anyhow, getting back on track here. Setting up crates is kind of easy. It's not very difficult. Uh, just go down here to the bottom. So next where it says album art here, you have this little brown crate that has plus in it. You click that. And you see right there, our new crate is created. As you can see, this crate is empty. It has nothing in it. No music files are in here. Now, when you initially set up, this is how you would be. So all these crates that I have here, if you are a first-time user of Serato DJ, you won't have these. It will be this crate that you just set up there. So now we're going to add music to that particular crate. There are other ways of doing this, but I'm going to show you the basic way when you have no other crates set up. Because I have other crates set up here, there are different ways that I can go about doing this. But this is the way that you would do it if you're setting things up for the first time. You can click on Files. That will bring you to this screen here. What you want to do is you want to go where your music files are. I do have music here, I do have music here, but I'm going to go into my external hard drive. And as you see, it opens up these folders. Um, and these are all folders that I set up previously. We want to take music from one of our folders or wherever you have the music stored. So let's just go here, for example. So now that I'm here, I will just click on a file and drag it into this window here for this particular crate. Now this song is in this new crate that we just made. See, if I go here, you see that there. When I go back here, that's our only song that's there. If you want to click multiple songs, then you would click uh, Command, and then click on as many songs as you need, or if you like, or whatever, and you just drag them in. So, if there's a particular folder that you want to move like that, you can do it in that manner. But if you're going to do that, an even simpler way is would be to you can just click on this particular folder and then just drag it over here to your crate file. And you see that Hall and Oak, Oaks crate is there. You see it works down there and it starts populating and show you that it's adding all the songs and tags and all that stuff. So as you see, I just created that folder from the Hall and Oak, as well as this uh, other crate here from House Music. And you see all those songs that were in that other folder are now here. And that's basically how you set up your crate. And again, as far as how you set up your crates, it depends on you. And it's more convenient for you to access your music for the purposes of what you're doing. Again, one more time. We'll click out of files. We'll click that again. Go wherever your music is. And you could either click on the crate on the folder that's already prepared. Or... Go in and select certain songs and drag them into the crate. Or you can take a folder and move that entire folder over here into the crate section. And it will bring that crate and populate all of it in there. 
So those are the two ways that you can do it if you don't have anything set up. Now, with deleting creative, let's say you don't like the creative, you're not using it again for whatever reason, you want to delete the creative. You click on it, and then you will hit Control Delete. That crate is now gone. It jumps up to the next crate. Again, just Control Delete. That crate is gone. And that's how you go about deleting crates. To name the crates, you will simply double click on it. Call this test crate. Might want to spell it right. Enter. And there you have it. And again, since I'm not keeping this crate, I'm going to go into Control and delete and remove that crate. The other way that I was explaining on how you can set up crates is if you already have folders. This House Music Classic, that's actually one of the folders that I already have in my hard drive. You can click down to it, go down. As you see, these here, they're already folders. These are folders that I compiled. Uh, so it has, these all have, as you see, Classic house music, disco house, uh, the newer house music, and then the house tracks. So instead of actually going in and taking individual songs, I compiled this folder and I just moved that entire folder. So now I have access to all of those songs in there. So I don't pre-program my sets. I, will, I have a direction that I'm going in and I know what music I'm going to play, but I don't know what particular songs I'm going to play unless I've already been given a playlist like say for instance you have a wedding reception and they request certain musics. Again, when you're setting up folders, you want to take time because you have to remember an organized DJ is more efficient and you can find things quicker, which will be important when you're doing sets where you're actually beat matching and blending. So Again, when you're organizing your crates and folders, take your time. Look over all your music. Decide how do you want to go about setting it up. That's going to be key to being an efficient DJ. When you set up your crates here, it will translate over to whatever version of Serato you're using. That Serato database can be used in DJ Intro, can be used in Scratch Live, or Toronto DJ. So you can use the free, free version and set up your crates and have everything in order and it will store it in the database which I will show you that once we click out of here. As you can see it asking um, if I want to back up my library since it's more than one week old. I made some changes and I don't necessarily want to save anything but you would more than likely click yes here because that's what will save the new changes that you made to your database. But again, because I don't want to save those changes, I uncheck that and I click yes. And this is going to exit out. And then I'm going to go into my actual hard drive and show you in the folder where Serato saves the information about your crates in the database. So here we have my hard drive. Move that up. I like to look at it a little bit different now. Set it down as list. And extend this out a little bit so that you can get a little bit better look at it. Now you see here it has that Serato and Serato backup. This is the database where it saves all the information for your crates. See, so all of my crates that I've created are stored on there. Anytime I plug this hard drive into any system that's using Serato, my crates will carry over with uh, all the information, my tags, the beats per minute, key, titles, everything that I place in there. All that information will go. So that's it for this one. I will be doing uh, another one where I will get more in depth with actually using Serato and some of the features and just some other little tips and tricks to help you get through with setting up Serato. Thanks again. As always, uh, click like and subscribe. Spread the word for me. Thanks.